We're heading to Tennessee Tornado now. There's not a whole lot of people back in this area of the park. Let's go into Blazing Fury first. It's been a while. Fire and roll. I'm surprised at how smooth Tennessee Tornado is after all these years. So much smoother than Vortex was. What it do you think really, about Vortex's cousin? <laughs> it was really good. Short, but really good. Got off of Wild Eagle, now we're going into Fire Chaser Express.
first time on this. It is insane. Great time here so far. Broke just about everything. know a little bit about this piece of rolling history you're right behind it all starts on a very important date of December 7th 1941 that was the attack on Pearl Harbor and America's involvement in World War II now the U.S. Army determined that a military highway would be needed to protect Alaska from invasion so in 1942 the U.S. Army took over to bypass the Yukon Railroad to build the Afghan Military Highway April of 1943, the Baldwin Locomotive Works in Eastone, Pennsylvania built by the Army of the Fire Stout, engine number 192. She weighs just a little over 211,000 pounds, and it is a genius coal fired steam driven type 282 locomotive. commissioned under the United States Army and set up a scat rail master where she was put to work on the bypass the Yukon Railroad, hauling supplies and materials in support of the war effort. We're passing by a Thunderhead roller coaster on your right hand side, up ahead the bright green rails of the Dragonfly coaster in Wildwood Road. Of the 34 trains, just like 
into number 192 grand each day in support of road construction. In only nine months, what seemed impossible at that time became possible. And the Alcan Military Highway was completed, and the invasion of North America never did happen. And I bet you didn't realize you were riding behind a true veteran of World War II. And we here at Donnywood, we sure are proud of all of our veterans from all branches of the military, and our thoughts and prayers go to those from active duty around the world today. And hey, let's not forget those first responding fingers. Thank you so much. For our peace and freedom, we enjoy it every day. Yeah! Take a look down there in the valley, you'll see the 40-foot tall great pumpkin tree there for the great pumpkin living on. There's also a fire chaser express a deal on for a patient that you forward your backwards. Last but not least, the Tennessee tornado in wilderness pass. It's home to more plants and trees than anywhere else in the United States. And even in the air, you can hear the song below the 200 species of birds. And it changes with each season and with each pair of eyes. And we have now reached the top of the Iron Mountain Summit and we're about to go around the upper road. Now we're here at Dollywood. We do love the show our engines all to you every chance we get. So what do you say? Would you like to hear Engineer Julie blow a little tune on her Crosby three-time whistle? All right, then, on the count of three, let's tell Julie to blow her whistle. Here we go. One, two, three, blow her whistle. So the Smokies were established way back in 1934 by President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. He was president during World War II. They're one of America's most beloved and visited parks today, having about 12 and a half million visitors each year. And they were projected to have an all-time record of 15 million this summer. So while you're over this way, take a little trip over there and see their scenic natural wonder and beauty. You might see a, a big fancy cabin up there on top of that hill. You'll never guess who stays there at that cabin. Uh, well, I don't know. It's a rental cabin. Uh, I don't know who stays there. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I just thought I'd get you going there. <laughs> yeah, I'm proving it wrong. You gotta watch me. <laughs> all right, I've been working on the railroad all over this long day, so it's time to get your hammers out. We're gonna lay some cross ties. Here we go. <laughs> See Miss Lily, she likes to chit chat and share photo of opportunities. Hey, you can tell them howdy again. One, two, three. Hey. All right, good job, everybody. Thanks for coming out visiting with us. Make sure you ride the train before you leave the park. Bye bye. We'll see you there or be square. <laughs> Inside the door there is engine number 70, Cinderella. She is a 1938 Bobby And engine 70 also served on the White Pass of the Yukon Railroad during World War II. On behalf of myself, my fellow conductor on car three, his name's Austin. I want to thank you for riding with us on the Dollywood Express. Have a wonderful and blessed day, everybody. We appreciate you so much. Once again, folks, we would like to remind you We've had an awesome day today. We've rode lots of great coasters and got to see lots of uh, really cool fall decorations. Thank you so much to Dollywood for inviting us out today. It's been a really good time. See y'all in the next video.